What's up, everybody? Well, I got another Azus Ally gameplay video for you guys today. And today, we've got a much easier game to play. One that should hopefully be able to hit 60 FPS all the time. That is, unless it's like the Steam Deck and when you hit attack and do certain things, it always just drops down to 57 or 58. That was happening on the Steam Deck. So, also figured I'd do this just because I wanted to see if there's finally some games that it can possibly, they can get 60 FPS in all the time. And I wanted to see if it did that weird, like, dropping frames during attacks. And then finally, I figured if somebody wanted to see how this ran on the Steam Deck, there might be one or two people out there that wanted to know how this game ran, or if it ran on the Ally at all. Sometimes this thing is just weird, and it's like, nope, I'm new, I just don't want to play that game and the game just won't even run. So that's why I figured, let's go find out if this one does. Now, unfortunately, this thing loves to like almost never work with the capture computer, but I always give it a good old American try, but I think like three times I've been able to get, you know, screen recorded videos out of this thing. And after that, it's just, the main problem is the sound comes out of the damn speakers. The video part works fine, but then you'd have no audio besides me talking and that's not fun. So that's why we're probably gonna end up having to do this all camera, but I'll go see if the capture computer in it are willing to cooperate with one another, but if not, we'll just jump in and have a look at the settings. Well, we ran into a problem already. You cannot hit start, you cannot control anything in this game. Let's see. There we go. So you have to be in desktop control mode. All right, glad I decided to try that, but if anybody can't get it to work and your shit doesn't work, well, that's probably why. So, now why don't we actually go look at the settings and then we'll hop into the game and we'll see if it actually loads and if the controls actually work or not. This might have just got me past, you know, the start screen. Well, unfortunately, even the desktop mode has an issue. Yeah, you can use A to get into things, but you can never use B to get back out. Doesn't seem to be any of the buttons. That brings up that. So yeah, unfortunately this game does not seem to be playable. I'm gonna go try to see if there's some like Steam settings for controller input or something I can try, but not looking good for this particular game. Heck, this might happen to all the so-called easy games I picked out for it today. How funny would that be if it failed every single one of them and couldn't play a single easy game? Well, we'll see. Hopefully not, but honestly, this thing is turning out to be kind of just a pile of garbage. Well, all right. Well, all right, guys. Unfortunately, I was not expecting this at all, but unfortunately, this game is unplayable on the Ally. And not for the reason you'd think. It's not like uh, the FPS would be bad or anything. I feel like the FPS and everything would be totally fine, but you don't have a working controller. It doesn't work. You can try to use desktop, but it doesn't work. You can't go back. And I tried going through all the controller settings in Steam and no amount of settings seemed to get it to work. So unfortunately, this particular one is unplayable. And I have a feeling probably all of the games I picked to try that I thought were going to be easy peasy games to run on the Ally that would just get great FPS can't run because of other dumb reasons. So I don't even know what the hell to say about that. That's just really pathetic on this thing's part. Steam Deck had like almost no problem with this game. Like I said, it dropped a couple frames when you would attack and whatnot, down like 58 or 57. And I don't think I'd even notice that without the frame rate counter being up. But this one, you can't even get into the game because the damn controller doesn't work. And there seems to be no fix. So that's really lame. Hopefully the rest of the games don't do this, but the next one is the second one of this. So the second one of this is probably gonna be the same, but I wanna try just to see if they change anything or maybe there's some bullshit happening with the first one i don't really know but unfortunately we've got another dud on the ally it seems to be quite the uh quite the dud on a lot of games lately at least i got uh, ratchet and clank working so it redeemed himself uh, itself a little bit there but a lot of other games it either just runs like crap or can't play at all so it's really starting to get a little old but anyway that's about enough for this video sucks it didn't turn out i thought this was going to be an easy easy game for this thing to run but it turned out that it just can't run because of other reasons so hey what are you going to do but in any case i still hope you guys enjoyed the video because i sure as hell enjoyed making it for you guys even though it was definitely a little bit annoying that it didn't play such an easy game but hey life ain't fair sometimes shit don't go your way but in any case till the next video peace out guys